All right, YouTube, I'm going to go ahead and do a little uh, uh, FiTech EFI software uh, program opening up, see what you guys have available in here. So right here it is. Here's the software. Uh, we'll open it up. Here's what it looks like. Um, it's not too complicated. Up here, connection, connection loss. That's because I don't have a hook to the system. But up here when you're hooked up live, uh, with the K line, you'll be able to see this. Uh, it'll say connected. So right here is your basic stuff. Uh, I'll go here and load up a file that I already have. Uh, one of my early ones. So with that loaded up, you can click on like so. So you got the basic settings that it's opened up. Um, Air fuel control, spark, idle control. These are all your levels in the software you can adjust with. Open basic settings up and you click any one of these, it opens up another page. <clears throat> this goes through, you know, your fan enabling, cylinders. This is all stuff you can see when you put in uh, your information when you first set it up. But, you know, rev limit, you can go in here and change this to, you know, if you want 5,000 or whatever, you just type it in. And it goes green because it ain't been sent or saved. So that's the changes that you've made this time. So once you save it, it'll go back to black. But uh, base timing. I got my 10 degrees. So that's that part of it. Um, close this. Everybody asks, you know, how the 3D mapping and stuff is. We'll go over here to the 3D. This is the air fuel target. So it gives you this window under here. Just got your RPMs. And uh, this is your pressure 3D map. And this is what it gives you. This is what your maps look like on the software. Uh, kill pass, so that's your map sensor. RPM and air fuel ratios right here. So that's how it looks. It's not too complicated. Um, but like I said before, the limitations of the system is it only gives you uh, three different settings to put stuff in at. And so, um, or I guess really six different settings if you're not boosted. And I guess it gives you three more if you are boosted, but your, your points are like I hear your uh, your points for your air fuel ratio, you know, 1100, 3000, 6000. That's that part of throttle. And then here's your wide open, and then here's your boost. And so your fuel maps get automatically blended, I guess you'd say, with, with these numbers here. And that's what this map here is showing. Um, that's why it has these nice you know, lines that connect is because you're only putting in certain points in the map. It's not like HP tuners where you can control every bit of that map. Uh, you're only, you know, it's going to fill in the blank for you. And this is even with self-learn off. Uh, it's still going to do that. So that's the air fuel map. Um, and like I said, you got your different settings over here, your different numbers. Where get that open, looks like. So I got, you know, this is where you put it in at. This is your air fuel ratios for set map sensor setting. Change that, you know, wherever you want, wherever you think you should have it at. Um, close these out. We'll go to Spark Map now. You know, this is the one you're going to use. I use the most of for right now is figuring out my timing. Um, this is the old one. I could only get 25 degrees total in it because. Uh, uh, my fuel, my octane was too low, 93. I think you're, uh, I ended up going to E85, but uh, here's your additional timing. This is where you, sorry, pop up junk, but uh, this is your uh, initial base timing, um, 1100, 3000, 6000 at part throttle, wide open, same thing, and then boost the same thing. So, and then again, you can go over here to your 3D map. Click that, 3D table, same old table here, hit that, 
and this is your spark map. Um, as you can see, I got ramped in. Um, this is an old map because it's not level, but we got it ramped into 3000 and then it's settling out to uh, 24, 25 degrees. Um, if you had, so from here, this is wide open, this is your idle zone. Uh, from here up is going to be your uh, boost. Like I said, I don't know much about the tuning side of those things. This is just what I've learned. I'm just trying to show you an informational video of what's actually here. Um, so here's your idle control. <clears throat> I really haven't messed around with this a whole lot. Uh, I know this idle adapt. You can change that to make your RPM go up or down quicker back to idle. So don't hold RPM. I really haven't messed with that too much. But that's that page. Uh, we'll scroll over here to fuel control. And this is going to be the same kind of deal. This is your fuel for different temperatures. It's all percentage of a uh, cycle. Pretty sure it's percentage of duty cycle is how I do that. Uh, RPM limit, you know, all that's kind of self explanatory. Fuel closed loop. Really haven't messed with this a whole lot. Don't really know what a lot of this stuff does. It's there if you know what the, if you know how to use it. It's there. Um, so you got some more 3D maps. 3D fuels closed. I mean, some stuff. If you if you're more on the tuning side of things, you'll know what those things do. Fuel transits. Um, now I have used this. This is like your accelerator pump if you have a hesitation. Um, accelerator pump and then accelerator pump decay is how long it actually takes that amount of fuel to be pumped into it. Fast accel is when you go from pretty much you know good vacuum to wide open. You blip in the throttle. That's what you're going to adjust here. And these are all your temperatures for that. Um, tip out is when you let off the fuel and you want to. You're coming to a coast. How fast it's going to do that? How lean it's going to get? Enable better fuel mileage. Um, cranking fuel. I play with this a little bit too. So is your prime shot when you first turn the key on? It's set up right now for 1.5 seconds after you turn the key on. Uh, shoots a prime shot. You can adjust the amount of shot, or you can turn it off. And here's your cranking multiplier. Uh, this is, you know, at a set temperature, it's going to multiply how much fuel is going in there. I've had to play with this since I went to E85 to change it. This is an old setup. This is gas. But um, pretty much you're going to change that until it cranks easily is what I did. So here's your injectors. 74, 75 pound injectors. Um, don't know if you can get different injectors. I haven't seen anybody yet do it because you can get the bigger systems. Might be able to change that if you do do that. I don't know for sure. Uh, here's your PWM for your pump. And that's your fuel pump uh, pulse width modulator. Modulation. And um, so right now it's set up for five seconds. Turn the key on. It primes it to get the air out. Low RPM, so it cuts the pump off in case the engine, you know, get in a wreck or something. It'll cut it off. If it loses RPM, um, TPS for pump on 100%. I got it at 25. Here's your map at 95. This is where it comes on, you know, when you give it throttle. Map sensor kicks it on. RPM can kick it on. All this is adjustable. Um, here's your pump duty cycles. Uh, this is your idle, mid, and then your high. Um, I adjust mine so I have return a little bit at idle. Keep the pumps, you know. Flow and fuel, but not too much. Setting calibration. I don't really know what this is. Uh, I think this is this in the system. I haven't done. I think you can change your RPMs. Like if you're really specific and you wanted your maps to be a little different, you could change these RPMs. You know, if you had a 
higher revving engine or an engine that wasn't going to, you know, 1100, didn't even care, uh, and you want to change that, you can change that. And then that would adjust like other maps. Adapt, add data. I'm not for sure. I haven't really messed with this a whole lot either. Don't know what it does. And then these are just sizes. Do not change. They're just uh, values, I think, for the computer to read. Here's your breakpoints. And so these are for your uh, cam selection, I'm pretty sure. These are where your, I think it's where it's reading things at for your cam specifications where you can pick one through four. Um, I've seen some people play changing these breakpoints. Uh, I'm not for sure exactly what everything is. That's pretty much it. I mean, pretty self-explanatory. This is this is the system. People ask how you tune it and all that. This is how you tune it. Uh, like I'll go in here to the Spark. Let's see where we at. Spark map. You know, and right here we got. <clears throat> so here's your wide open, 1100, 3000, and all that. We can change this. We'll say we we'll change this to 30. You seen the Spark map earlier? Do a 30 degree timing and then at part throttle we're going to want we'll do the same for part throttle if you want it all in 30 so there's that let's go to the 3d map now and see what it looks like 3d spark table 3d map and see now you got a little bit different map as you can see, it's all ramped in now, you know, from, from pretty much idle up to wide open. It's all going to be, all of the timing is going to be ramped in by 3,000 and then plateau off. And, you know, like if you're doing drag racing, you know, the pick up a little bit of time, you can always bump your timing down when you're uh, up to higher RPM. I believe that helps out. I haven't been to the track to mess with all that, but. So, and then from here on. Is your boost, which I don't care because I'm not in the boost, but you can change that too. That's how you change your stuff, change your settings. So we'll just go back to, we'll put it at 15 in this so you can see the difference in the change. I just play with this until you get what you want out of it. So there's that. As you see, the map hasn't changed yet, so we'll close it out. <clears throat> and here's our new map we just made. As you can see, it changed it dramatically. You know, now we're even below our base timing. So now we're pulling, you know, 15 or sort of to the low, you know, all the way through. You never run an engine like that. I don't think so. At least you had, I don't even know why you do that. But just to sort of the change in, change in how the graph changes is what I was doing. But um, that's about it. If you like the video, subscribe, hit the like button. Do all that stuff. Uh, if you want a different video or anything more of it, uh, I don't, you know, I can just put in the comments and I'll try to do my best to make it. There's not a whole lot in the FiTech system. So uh, I'll try to do my best. Thanks for watching.